Hello, my name is Diana. I am working as Chief Psychological Counselor for Nova IVF Fertility. How can we support the husbands who are going through infertility issue? Infertility is not just women's uh, problem. Men also go through infertility issues. So, as a wife, how can I, uh, how can I support my husband? As we all know, uh, most of the time, or very very rarely, men share their feelings that they are going through something, especially when it comes to infertility. So as a wife, the way he supports me during the infertility journey, it is important for me as a wife also to support my husband because he is also experiencing the same thing but he is not expressing it. So how can we take care of this? There are certain things which I would like to share and these are all basically, uh, these are purely based on the experience which I have seen in the last few years and also which things which worked. So first of all, accept your husband. Accepting with what he has, what he is, it is very important. Infertility or being infertile or not being able to have a child is not, cannot de uh, you know, define your husband. So accept your husband the way he is. Second, allow or give him the time or allow, uh, give him an environment, enabling environment to express himself. Don't be judgmental ex, uh, or whenever he's expressing, allow him to speak what he feels and if he becomes emotional or if he sh shares certain things, do not consider that he's weak as he also would like, he also has emotions and he feels comfortable, he trusts you and he feels good while sharing and that is why he is uh, comfortably sharing things with you. So uh, allow him or give him the enabling environment to share what he's going through. The third and important is do not have the child talks or a discussion at home when you are you know having a holidays or a free time or during the dinner or lunch time at home. What happens usually is that you are constantly thinking about being infertile, going for a treatment that is there in your mind day in and out. Do not bring that when you are having you know family time talk about something else it applies to a woman uh, it is applies to both of you especially if you are uh, if your husband is experiencing infertility and he is very much stressed do not give him a or do not have that conversation at all when you are uh, you know spending a quality time uh, another point which we can uh, use or we can adopt is that be away from uh, social media for at least for some time or do not look for for lot of information because social media gives us only the bigger pic only the nice picture they do not share how sad they are how depressed they are we can only see the best part or a good part in social media so try to avoid that the last but not the least and one of the most important is do not talk about your husband's infertility in front of anybody. The way we don't want to be judged, the way we don't want the, our husband to talk, ab uh, talk about our infertility to others. Similarly, the husband also may not want us to speak to about their infertility with anybody else. So having that trust with uh, having that trust and uh, supporting each other in their difficult times is very important. So whatever conversation, whatever difficulty you have, talk to each other, not to uh, you know share it with others because that might uh, you know make them feel uncomfortable and that also will create a lot of stress and depression or anxiousness feelings towards the uh, men who is experiencing infertility.